Hi guys, Funk here, Skillshare Garage, welcome back. Um, today's one is the marriage between a bone shaker and the, the heavy hitcher. Uh, we're another little cut and shut piece. Uh, this is only a, a quick little job and it's not too long a video so uh, oh you're uh, comfortable, sit down and uh, let's get started. Here it is, just bringing in the old bone shaker. I've already pre-drilled these. Um, I'm sure everybody knows how to drill. <laughs> I'd actually pre-drilled them because I, um, I was going to rub the wheels for something else. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this build. So I'm just going to pull them apart. Um, they call it the heavy hitcher. Um, it's actually the, the chassis that's, that's the heavy part. The... The actual body itself is plastic, so that's going to cut nice and easy. So I'm just going to use the, the jeweler saw just to get rid of the side panels. So being plastic, this cuts really, really easy. It's uh, it's not, not a difficult job at all, this one. You'll find that I do, um, I do cut quite a bit out of this video. Although I'm sure now um, we will actually just be skipping forward parts as we go along. So I hope everybody had a, a fantastic new year. And uh, it's a, a nice quiet one for me, which I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, this is my first proper build since then. I've uh, done the um, the Unimog, the post-apocalyptic Unimog, but this is the first one really after the new year that I've sat down and, and done a, an actual build. Just checking for, for fit there, make sure how it's going to go. And it fits, but there's a, a biggish gap now. I'm just making sure the width of it's right for the for the reef, which looks perfect about, so I'm quite happy with that. It's just that that gap. Um so decided I'm gonna chop the the roof and we'll lower that down. We'll stick that back on later. All right, it's time to uh, join it all together, and once again using the epoxy putty. This is the uh, Doctor Ding's Ding Stick. Uh, it's quite cold, so it's um, it feels a bit hard at the minute. Once you've worked it a little bit in your fingers, it gets a bit warmer and it goes a bit softer. So, um, it's good stuff. Just starting to uh, do it, and I thought, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Um, to the uh, the beacons off for the roof, so I uh, thought I'd better get get them taken off quickly. They're only they're only tiny, so it don't take some minute to take these off. And once they're in place, and the uh, the putties over them, they're, they're not going to move anywhere. They're fiddly little buggers though. There you go, now, now I can start doing the, um, the weld together now. It actually fits together really, really well to be honest. Well, I think so anyway. Just making sure the um, the the bottom part is all level. It did squidge out quite well. And they're just bracing the insides there, just making sure the epoxide runs right the way across. It's not just relying on that actual 
that joint between the two just where it butts up to each other and now to put that little roof back on so it's just it's just lowered it down so it's now the roof of the actual shaker itself and then it's just a case then of putting up the the front leading edge down onto the sun visor I will be um I will be doing some pure restoration work shortly um it's okay doing the the custom work but i'm just not doing as much restoration as what i would like to do don't get me wrong guys i absolutely love doing the uh the custom work and there's you know there's a, a lot of people out there doing custom work and i love it i absolutely love it i must admit but i also love doing the um, the restoration pieces so I, I need to I keep saying I need to do some more of them I need to do some more of them and then also go oh I wonder if that will fit with that or oh that would look nice like that and I end up doing another custom piece so I need to uh, need to sort this out I need to get back on track let's get rid of the back end of this uh, this base plate we we don't need we don't need that um, the wheelbase is completely changed now. You see that it literally just clips back together. Just using a, a piece of plastic tube there just to just to uh, make an axle carrier for the for the rear axle. So now we can just sand it out and get it ready for, for spraying. It doesn't take a lot. There's not really a, a lot of this um, this filler actually on show. Most of it's on the inside of the vehicle. And that's done, just make the, uh, the hoist on the back, the hook, make sure that's, that's fitting nicely. Uh, actually still works which is quite a, a bonus as well and even with the wheels it's all it's all sitting nicely it is and so now it's uh the bodywork's all ready for paint so we're in the boot we i'm using um a chameleon style paint um this isn't pre-mixed, this is um, a powder pigment that you, you add to a clear coat. It's what they use for, for nail art, etc. Uh, plastic dip, it can be used for normal paint. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Just giving it a, a light coat of that. I love this stuff. As you'll see there, one minute it's blue and the next minute it's green. It's just a, a case of keeping your uh, keep your spray even, otherwise it does look different. Five minutes later. Now the uh, the tight coat's gone off a bit. Ding ding round two. I only needed a, a light little spray over. I'm not going to top coat it because the um, the pigment is actually added into some clear coat, so it comes out quite nice anyway. Um, just I've taken off the uh, the velocity stacks off the top of the engine, and I'm just drilling the 
the, the top out so I can use some plastic tube for um, wedge stacks on the front. And there it is, that's that's with the engine in place. You'll see I've still got the cover on the uh on the beacon lights. I used the um the latex, the blue latex uh liquid mask on there. And the getting rid of them poxy horrible shitty chrome seats. God I hate these bloody things. They haunt me. They absolutely haunt me, they do. And they're everybody's favourite, Molotow Chrome. And as soon as you put that on them tubes, it just immediately just changes how it looks. What I've done was I, I drew the ends of the uh, the exhaust as well, just so there's a little bit of a hole there. So it makes them look a, a little bit more realistic. And now it's just time to clip, fix it all together. Um, I know that the, the front clips in place but I'm just adding a little bit of um, CA there just to, just to make sure that it doesn't fall apart afterwards at some stage now you you may see some blemishes in this paint guys I, I will warn you now um, what num nuts here did was uh, I was on the telephone with a friend when I um, when I picked up the the clear coat and I put it into the airbrush and I was spraying away and then I thought oh shit I picked up the 2k clear coat and not the 1k and I hadn't put any hardener in so I had to wipe it all off and everything and start again absolute bloody nightmare absolute nightmare so uh, there, there is there is some blemishes in this I'll hold my hands up to it I'll admit that they're there uh, it's certainly an, uh, an unusual look for a vehicle as I normally do. But I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it how it actually turns out. And if there's any particular style that you guys would like to uh, see me do or or anything, then uh, please leave it in the comments below and I'll, I'll see what I can do. It's great just you guys coming watching to see what I'm doing, but I think it'd be nice... Uh, a little bit of feedback guys and let me know what, what you'd like to see and uh, I'll see if I can see if I can sort it. Somebody said mentioned the other week back about uh, doing coloured wheels and I, I said I, I don't normally do coloured wheels. <laughs> I don't do coloured wheels normally at all. Um, and I thought you know what I'm going to go for it this time. And actually added some colour to the wheels. And now I'll probably get comments saying oh you shouldn't have painted them wheels. <laughs> I'm always open to suggestions guys, always open, any critique is taken, I can, uh, I can work with it, I can learn from it, is the, is the main thing. Just a, a quick recap of how we started before they got uh, cut and shut and hitched. So uh, the, the heavy hitcher and the bone shaker, so quite a lot of uh, custom bone shakers coming out at the minute and I think they're absolutely brilliant there's there's loads and loads of them I think they look great really do so uh, let's introduce you to uh, to heavy bones here he is slammed to the ground nice big velocity stacks coming out uh, it certainly does look like he's a, a mean little beast doesn't he Imagine that coming up behind you as you're driving down the road. So uh, I love the colour of this one and I love love these uh, these wheels. Let me know what you think guys. Let me know what you think. I'm loving it. 
right so uh a massive great big thanks to all my followers and uh, all my subscribers and all my new subscribers as well and uh, i hope you're all enjoying it guys so give me some feedback let me know what you're thinking cheers guys bye